Today on Camp for Less we take this steel, this wood, and turn it into this beautiful handmade one-off bushcraft knife. This started as a collaboration with Hayato, a former student of mine, and myself. We took time together to discuss the overall design. Once he had an idea of what I was looking for, he sketched the design out and showed it to me, and I approved it. And this is the overall result of that custom design. As you can see, this knife is approximately 10 and a half inches long. The knife edge is approximately five and a half inches. There's jimping on the top for extra thumb grip when you're working. It has a sharpening choil, very small sharpening choil, as well as a finger choil so that you can cinch on the knife. It also has a choil on the top here that you can use with your thumb or with your finger, depending if you're pushing off to do some carving or if you're backstroking your knife and you want to get your finger in there to get some extra grip, your finger won't slip off with that there. The point is not aggressive. It's, very, it's, it's a very soft design coming in, which is actually good for chiseling. The scales are made out of Chinese quince. This knife is a full tang design, which means the steel goes from the point all the way to the butt of the knife. It's one solid piece. This knife weighs in at 301 grams overall. It's very well balanced and is very easy to grip. The quince wood is a very nice wood for a knife handle. It actually makes a beautiful grip. It doesn't slip. And I absolutely love this. This knife is my current favorite knife in my entire knife collection. And I have a lot of knives. This is the very first one-off handmade knife I've ever had in my life. My plan for this knife is to send it off to a knife manufacturer and have it replicated so that I can keep this knife safe at home as it is an original design and I can take the replicated knife out into the field to use it and beat it and test it and see how it does. If anybody out there knows a knife manufacturer who might be willing to take on this project, please hit me up in the comments down below and let me know who I should contact. I have contacted a couple of manufacturers and I'm waiting for them to get back to me. I am looking forward to getting this out into the field and testing it. So have a look at some of the still shots that I'm about to show you right now on the process that this knife went through to get to where it's at. As always, thank you very much for watching this video. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel as it helps me to get this video out further. Also, if you could give it a thumbs up to help give the video out to other like-minded individuals such as yourself, I'd really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Stay tuned for my next video, which I will be showing my brand new tent and the setup of it. And I will be giving you my honest opinion of it. And I will have it out this summer as well hopefully in some bad weather, to test it out because this tent was extremely budget friendly. I got it for about 50% off. Not so worried because it's a pretty good manufacturer. The name brand is a long-term name brand. So I'm not overly concerned about it, but I am concerned because it is 50% off and it's been 50% off for quite a while. So I don't exactly understand why the tent is being sold for such a low price. But I am looking forward to getting it and getting it out into the field and trying it out. I think it's going to be a pretty good, maybe, overall purchase. As a budget camper goes, this is something that will fit almost everybody's pocketbook. So stay tuned for that video. Thank you all for watching. See you all next time on Camp for Less. Pew!